Star TA75M Plus Motherboard Unboxing here at the Motherboards.org YouTube channel. I'm Eric Ferris, your host. Now, first thing you guys are going to ask me this unboxing is what makes it plus? The plus is because of the bundle that comes along with it. It increases the product value by about $10. Or actually, it's how much it increases in the cost, actually, is $10. But it's a $30 actual value that you get passed on for $10. A lot of you people out there sometimes talk smack about Biostar. Don't talk smack. Almost all the motherboards out there are made of the same quality standards. Just because someone isn't as well known to the end user as them doesn't make it a product that's not good. Biostar's been making quality products for a long time. They just focus more on channel sales and OEM than end user sales. But they want to change that. They want you to know their product. So today we're going to do the unboxing of this board. This motherboard also features support for the new AMD Lano AP, which is an all-in-one solution geared towards the enthusiast and multimedia person. That said, let's jump in and see what comes in this new box of the new TA75M+. All right, so here you guys have it. I'm just gonna flip over here real quick so you guys can see the outside of the box because it always usually shows all the stuff. Buy a remote too. Which is for your Android and your iPhone. It means you can hook up to this thing and actually access your computer through your phone, which is cool because it means whether you have an Apple or an Intel-based phone, not really Intel, but an Android phone, which is non-Apple, you can still do that. Some of the bonus things, you get a free bundle, like I said before, the Buy a Remote Kit for HTPC. It's basically remote control and all the software for remote controlling all your stuff supports Blu-ray audio, means it has a high dB count and decibel count, really good for sound. THX True Studio Pro, good stuff. T overclocker, why anybody's gonna be overclocking this thing, I don't know, but it's got it on there anyways. HDMI, very solid. Mini TVs and everything are HDMI and monitors. This will look directly into your stuff with all the sound functions as well. 100% solid capacitors, stable lifespan. Most motherboards have this. It's good these guys are using that as well. Also features four USB 3.0 connectors, which features super speed, five gigabit per second transfer rates. Chipsets AMD, we talked about this before. It's the AMD A75 chipset, which supports all of their Alano all-in-one APUs. All right. So now let's just jump into the unboxing. I'm going to pop the cap here. Everything on top of here is where all the feature stuff are. So we'll just start off there. We have the back panel. Everything's on there. HDMI, DVI, you can see all the connectors and all they're all displayed. So you can see them. Not as well as some. Some actually write out very clearly what it is, but this isn't that bad. Here you've got a breakout box. Now, what this thing is, not a breakout box, but a breakout bracket, this has both your SPDIF and coaxial audio, which will fit most major speaker systems in 5.1 out there, be it professional or home. We've got the driver CD. It's got all everything on there. If you install your Windows, you want to slap this thing in there and do that. We have a little package checklist. I guess it just tells you everything goes in the box, including the serial number of everything. We have the T-Series, TA75M Plus guide. And then we have actually a drivers and utility DVD. So this is probably going to be have all the stuff on it for that you can watch DVD movies and everything on there. Well, let's see here. To use the BIO remote and enable the remote header in the motherboard of BIOS. So I guess you got to go into the BIOS and actually enable something to use the BIO remote. This is the BIO remote. This is what actually adds the $10 onto the thing. I'm going to go ahead and pop this out of here for you guys so you can see it. But what this is, is this basically your full-on remote control. I'm not going to go ahead and pull it on the package and everything right now. I'm doing the full review. But you have a connector here. It connects in. We're going to clip that thing in the BIOS to make it work. There's a little back bracket to hold it. And then after that, you can use all the full remote features of this thing. It's a pretty good thing. If you want to watch movies and everything, instead of going out and buying a Blu-ray, you could just install a Blu-ray player and use all the software, including this remote control. I'm just going to go ahead and stick that back in there, and then I'll get to the actual, the heart of the matter, the motherboard. Okay, there's still a couple more things down here. As you hear me chop everything off in the back. Let me go ahead and open this up right here. Let's see what comes in the bag. Okay, this is a Biostar header for some additional connectors. These are two more of the SATA 6 connectors right here. So you have a little breakout bar for that. I guess there's actually even more accessories down in here. It comes with a high-speed HDMI cable. 
That's pretty cool. A lot of things don't do it. That's a good bundle so far. We've also got a whole lot of SATA cables here. These are all of the new high-speed 6.0. Got a breakout box for USB 3.0. So there's two here, and there'll be two more on the motherboard that we saw earlier when we talked about that. Now the motherboard. Quite a bit of stuff here, actually, in this little motherboard from Biostar. It's very well priced as well. I just want to say that as well. This motherboard's coming to market at about $89. Very well priced. Let me get rid of the box as well, folks. I know the motherboard's out of focus right now, but let me get it back in here for you guys. So this is it. You can see the ZIF socket, plenty of room around it. Everything's being nice and cool up here. The MOSFETs and everything are covered with a nice heat sink. You can see it's black. That's gonna be very good for builders who want people to like something to like look. It's kind of got like orange. This is red, it's kind of a red orange, not really bright red and white colors on black. Not a bad design. Got your 24 pin power connector here, four pin power back here in the back. Like they said before, Everything is solid Japanese capacitors, low MOSFETs right here, very well made. Memory right here features dual channel DDR3. This motherboard features 16 gigabytes. Some of them feature 32. This particular one features 16. I'm not really sure of that. Maybe it'll be a BIOS update that'll change that. You have power indicator as well. Over here, we're gonna flip it over. There are some controls here on the board. You can use these switches for overclocking. And here's a little dip meter right here, which also tells you if there's any errors on the board. This is very good to have. SATA 3.0, six gigabit connectors, right here all the way across the board. You've got two, four, five of them. Then you've got another one right here for external. Everything on the board is well marked. So if you're gonna hook up all your pins from your motherboard, excuse me, from your case onto your motherboard rather, you can see it'll be very easy to connect because it's all color coded. Here's the bracket for the USB 3.0 box. You get one 16, one eight, and one standard PCI slot. This thing is not geared for gamers, obviously, because everything's built into the APU, including the graphics, but if you so desire to expand upon that, you can add additional graphics cards in here to do that. We're gonna go ahead and flip it around now and take a look at the rear I.O. Fully decked out, pretty cool little chrome back right here. Standard USB, got a PS2 keyboard port right here. DVI, VGA, couple more USB ports. Right here is your LAN. Right here is all of your audio that's analog. You guys saw earlier, we saw the breakout cable for your digital, um, digital audio rather. And then here are a couple more USB 3.0 connectors. There were two more on the breakout box. So that's everything that comes in the box of this. It's a pretty cool little thing. I think the TA75M Plus is gonna be a winner. It's one of the best motherboards I've seen from Biostar to yet. Thanks for watching the unboxing. We'll have the full review here for the motherboards on our YouTube channel soon.